is what matters there. The larger the car, the kind of better it is, and yet you've gone for something smaller. Yeah, I th there's two there's two aspects to that. One is that uh, in India, size doesn't matter. If you need to get 18 people in the car, you can. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the first thing. Yeah. And the second thing about, it's my mate Joe, who kind of uh, deals in Peugeot, who kind of said 406, and I thought, lovely. Now, Indians do like bling. I mean, if there was a Datsun Whoa, bling. Had, hold on a minute. Now, we've had flexing, I've got that, and winding. Yeah. What's bling? Bling is just, you know, flash, colour. It's kind of like Indian parents, traditional Indian parents, are the only ones who'd watch The Fast and the Furious and say, if you became an accountant, you should get a car like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice blue light underneath. And one, when you put the when you put your uh, Indian music on, it goes... <laughs> uh, so, um, Have you actually driven in India? Uh, only only once. Isn't uh, it just the scariest thing in the known universe? It, I've done nothing scary. I mean, that, there's a road from Pune to Bombay, mm. which is supposed to be the most dangerous road in the world. <laughs> right. In the world. I think, and how many people die on the roads in India every day? It's 164 people a day. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's probably just one Datsun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, was, that was only the people falling off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> the 18 people inside were fine. <laughs> but it's also, I mean, but that's, it's true, it's a high number, but, you know, there's also a billion people. Yeah, so it's kind of but there's only the same number of cars on the roads there that we have here. Yeah, but there's a lot more people crossing them. That's true, <laughs> and animals. And I also think, actually, that the highway code is at odds with the Hindu code. That sense <laughs> yeah, of, yeah. no, it'll be all right. No, your brakes have failed, it won't be all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no, it will. I've said a prayer to my God. Your brakes don't work! <laughs> but I also said to this guy I was talking to in India, he was saying, well, if it's my day to die, it's my day to die, so I'll go on the wrong side of the road. And he goes, yeah, what about the bloke you hit? It's his day to die. Yeah. <laughs> and the might is right. That's a scary rule. Yeah, it's kind of, again, there's two things about the, the, the road, uh, the, the highway code, as opposed to the Hindu code. Well, uh, one is that, yeah, might is right. I mean, if you've got a truck and the other person's got a bicycle, you have right of way. Yeah. Um, and the second thing is that um, it's, it's always the responsibility of the person behind. So nobody goes, he cut me up. <laughs> because it's, you, you should look out for him. So everyone's doing that, so it kind of works in a bizarre way. But the other thing, I, to, to tell you the reason that I stopped driving, I, I did about a mile and I told my cousin to take over. And I said it was at night and nobody uses their headlights, or very few no, people use their headlights. True. Because, you know, you wear them out. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to buy another one. Um, and so there was, there was a stop when I saw one headlamp coming towards me. And I said, look, I don't know if that's a scooter or it's a truck with one failed headlamp. And he kind of, my cousin stopped for a second, he said, or oh, two scooters transporting a wardrobe. <laughs> I said, you know, you're right, there is that third option. I, I, I'm an idiot, I don't know why I didn't think of it. <laughs> but the great thing is when things do wear out, the improvisation that yeah. you see on the roads in India is just, you see a truck that's hit a tree at a speed you think that was doing Mach 4, <laughs> and it's not written off. No, and the thing in India, uh, Paul McGann told me a great story. Um, it's the first time he went to India, and a friend of his had said, uh, when you cross over the border into India, he's in Nepal at the time, he said, you will know, there will be something that will tell you that instant that you're in India. And he crossed over at this truck stop at about three o'clock in the morning. He's looking around thinking, well, there's no one here, and it's kind of, my friend said something would happen. And at that moment, they heard, they heard a truck coming around the corner with two small boys holding on to the radiator at the front. One pouring water into the top, <laughs> the other one catching it at the bottom. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I, I genuinely love that. It's that fatalistic thing. They just won't give up, you know. Um, anyway, of course, Liana, how was it out there?